Hello and welcome back to my Techit tutorials. Today I'll be showing you how to brew beer and rum and how to make coffee. Uh, the first thing you need is your plants, which is I showed you how to make these in the previous um, video. How to get all these things, which is hops, sugar canes, wheat, and coffee. The next thing you'll need um, some scaffold and to make the scaffold. It's just three wooden planks and three sticks and they make 16 scaffold. You'll also need these barrels to make these. It is two wooden planks and a piece of rubber wood. Now, there are two different types of rubber wood and this is the darker one that you get from actual rubber trees that give you that you use the tree taps on to give you a resin. And you will need a tree tap. Now to make a tree tap stone mugs over there. To make a tree tap, you need some wooden planks, mm. just like this. So three, one in the middle and one to the left, makes tree taps. Okay, you also need to make some stone mugs, which is just stone in the shape of a mug, to make a mug. Okay, the easiest thing to brew get out is rum because all you need for it is just pop our scaffold down and then you put your booze barrel on top you can't put these just down on their own so you're clicking furiously it won't go down you need to put it on top of the scaffold you then take your sugar cane, and this is all you have to put in for your rum, it's just sugar cane. Uh, and you just left click, or, or not, that was weird. Maybe I shall right shift click then, put them in individually. There we go. Now that's in there, it will start brewing. As soon as you put on your tree tap, it stops the brewing process. So you're going to have to leave this at least for a few hours so it can brew nicely. I'm not sure if I've got anything in any of these. Let's soon see. Oh, I have. What's in here? Okay, I'll show you how to, how to make that shortly. What's this one? Nothing in here. Okay. So that's how you make rum. It's just um, sugar cane into a booze barrel which has been put on some scaffold and you just leave that for a little while and it makes the rum. The next thing we should be making, I don't think I've got anything in here though, is beer. Now you make beer by combining wheat, hops and water cells, which I should just night time if you sleep quickly. Oh well I can't. Let's go kill these monsters. Are they on my roof. Naughty. Okay, let's sleep quick. Even though I am invulnerable it does annoy me. Oh oh there we go. Okay, so we're going to go fill all of these cells. Let's right click the water there and they will all fill. Sometimes they can be a little bit buggy as you can see. Okay, and I've got, I did say 17, 12 oh, water cells. Well, I thought, maybe I just turn right click. That's the one we've put them in. We'll put them in here. So there are exact measurements on the wiki of how much to put in, but I tend to put um, equal amounts in of everything and I seem to get a good a good beer out of it. So I'm just going to put in, just right click and they will go in. Um, so I've put in 12 water cells, 13 wheat and 12 hops. Now, like I said, you leave these um, for a certain amount of time, but the longer you leave them, the stronger the beer will get. Um, 
and you could put different uh, recipes of uh, wheat water and hops ratios and get different things out of them and I'll link the wiki page with all the different recipes and all the different timings um, so you guys can have a have a nosy on through that but once you've left them for a while and you know that you've uh, Oh, this one's a bit different. This one's called Black Stuff. So I don't have some dragon, but these are all beers. Let's get this uh, see what this one's got in it. All black stuff and dragon blood. Okay. So to get dragon blood, which I know is the strongest one, you must leave it for twenty-four hours before you put the tree tap on remember the tree tap stops the brewing process it freezes it at whatever you whatever time you put the, the tree tap on so i've given each of these have had a very long time they've been there for days before i've touched them so um, i'm going to grab some terra water as well just in case i get a bit drunk off these Pieces of terrible. So now I'm going to drink them and show you the effects they produce. So this was I've been poisoned. So we're going to drink some, eat some terrible. There we go, and it's removed that negative effect. So the that certain beer, black stuff, that poisoned me, which wasn't very nice. Let's try this one. Do I get the same effect from it? Oh. That one just hurt me. Okay. Let's drink the dragon blood. And this has given me mining fatigue. Lovely. Thank you. I believe might as well leave that on. Okay. Now, the next thing we're going to make while we wait for the... Um, the sugar cane to brew for a little bit is the coffee now coffee um to get normal coffee you have to go through three stages where's my there it is so the first thing you have to make is cold coffee then you have to make dark coffee and then you can make coffee to make cold coffee if you just put into your bar here cough coffee it is a water cell, a stone mug, and some coffee powder. You get coffee powder just by putting your coffee beans into your crafting thing. I wonder if you get more from macerating it. Never tested. That was my ring. Oh, just throw my super expensive ring on the floor. Okay. I haven't tried this, but normally you get more from macerating than you do from just um, putting it into the... Yes, you do. There you go, you get three um, coffee powder instead of just the one. I did not know that, so now I know. And then you put the, um, the coffee powder with a stone mug and a water cell and you get cold coffee. And then to make dark coffee, you cook cold coffee put it in a furnace, in a normal furnace, and it'll make dark coffee. Then to make normal coffee, you take a dark coffee, and you mix it with sugar and milk. So I've got one here, a dark coffee, I'm going to put it with sugar and milk. And there we go. I'm going to drink it. And I've got speed and haste. I can't really tell that I'm that much quicker. Let's um, wait for that to. What's this coffee? Let's see what we get from cold coffee. Well, we get the same, so they all give exactly the same buffs. I'm speedy anyway because I've got my. Oh, I can't move at all. Oh, it's made it. 
bit trippy though, isn't it? There we go. Lovely. And I've got speed too. Okay. So that's how you make coffee. We've showed you how to make beer. Stone mugs. So coffee gives you speed. It doesn't last that long though. If I drank two, I suppose if you drank another one it would we have to do water cells. Do we have any water cells on? Okay, although this has only been brewing, I'm not sure I get anything out of it from leaving it this. I'm pretty sure you've got to leave it at least three hours to get. Let me just leave that off there. To get anything from the rum, but well. Did I put anything in this one? Did I put some rum in here? hoping that I've made some previously but I haven't. I do feel a little bit speedier now though. Right let's see if we... there we go we've got some rum. Okay and rum I'm gonna want to drink a bunch of it. There's the blindness. Now it started. You get very drunk off rum very quickly and as you can see we've got nausea and blindness we've also got resistance and fire resistance now this is really helpful if you want to go into the nether but obviously you can't see anything so if you eat a piece of terror wart there we go it's oh it hasn't removed the blindness no it doesn't remove the blindness but it has removed the nausea so you can go about your business then how weird is this though? Maybe we should drink another one to get the nausea back because it's quite trippy. It's quite funny to say to your friends, I'll drink three of these in a row real quick. And it does, in my opinion, take about three to get going. It is very, very trippy. Okay, so that is how you make rum, coffee and beer and how you get drunk in Minecraft. I hope you enjoyed that and thank you for watching. Bye bye!